In this video session, we'll see how to create a pivot table, how to inserting a pivot table. So in the Excel, it's very simple to create a pivot table. By default, there are two options. The pivot table option is there in the insert tab. So in that, uh, you will create a directly pivot table. Otherwise, you go for recommended pivot tables. Uh, but instead of using recommended pivot table, we'll go for pivot table only. Here, there is some data in the Excel sheet, like date, product, region, sales represents customers, units, sales, like there are some columns are there. For this data, we'll create the pivot table. How? Go to insert tab, just click on pivot table. See, I'm not selecting complete data, just I'm selecting only one single cell anywhere. Next, go to insert tab, go to pivot table. See, it was selected complete range. See, select a table or range in that from A1 to G106. Actually, here there are two things. Choose the data that you want to analyze. From where you are taking the data to create the pivot table. It may be table format or else range format. And you can take the data from the external data source also. And where you want to create the pivot table in the new worksheet or else existing worksheet. New worksheet means it will create another new worksheet and it will create the pivot table over there. And if it is an existing worksheet, you have to select the cell reference. Now I'm taking select table or range. See, just in the starting, I have selected only one cell. So it was selected complete current region. Then you can say, okay. See, now here pivot table was created. Otherwise you can select some range. Now I'm selecting this range only. Go to insert, you can say pivot table. See, for the selector range only, you will get the pivot table instead of current region. Otherwise, uh, you can go for new sheet, uh, blank sheet, uh, and uh, go to pivot table. So in this table or range, now you can select the data. Directly, you can select the data and you can say, okay. Like these are the three ways. Directly, you can select SL and you will create the pivot table in that complete current region was selected. Otherwise, you can select some range. Otherwise, go for new sheet. From there, you can select the data to create the pivot table. And you can use a recommended pivot table also. It is showing which one you want to select. So when you are creating a pivot table, there is an option. Choose whether you wanted to analyze multiple tables. Then when if you want to create a pivot table with multiple tables, then you will take this. So that is called add to data model. When you are creating a new pivot table, you will notice an option that bottom of the dialog box. It is saying add this data to the data model. So normally, now in this scenario, so don't select it. So make sure that this box is unchecked. Otherwise, you may not have access to certain capabilities like including grouping tools, wildcard filters, next to data refresh options and report pages and calculated fields you cannot access. In case, by default, when you are creating a pivot table, if you find that this box is checked by default, then you may wish to update your Excel options to prevent this from happening. That means uh, if it is by default automatically selected, then go to file, go to options, go to data, see. Prefer the Excel data model when creating pivot tables, query tables and data connections. See, it was not selected, unchecked. If it is selected, you can uncheck it. So then you won't get while creating the pivot table. Where it is, go to file, then go to options, then go to data, then unselect it. Then you can say OK. By default here, it was not selected. So like this, we'll create the pivot table and we'll unselect add to data model option in the pivot table.